This is probably one of the hardest recipes for me to give up. I have been making this for over 20 years and there's only two or three people in the world besides me that know how I make this. Anyways, I've got six to eight medium sized potatoes in water uh, pre-cooking and uh, I'm going to give up my recipe on how I make my potato soup because I said if I beat cancer I was going to give up all my secrets and I am a man of my word so let's get this going. You are also going to need a slow cooker, two cans of cream of mushroom soup, two cans of cream of chicken soup, two cans of cream of celery, one packet of Lipton onion seasoning, or you can use real onions, one thing of bacon bits, and one thing of ranch dressing, and you're going to need some milk. While waiting on the potatoes to finish boiling, I'm going to go ahead and add the cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, and cream of celery soup to the slow cooker. The next thing that you want to do is you want to strain most of the water off of your potatoes, but you want to leave some. How much is some? There's probably only about a cup of water left in this. So add your potatoes. Give it a stir to see how much room it's using up. I'll show you here in a minute. There's about what I've got right now. So I don't know if you can see that. There's probably two inches of or more of surface between the top of the potatoes and this. The next thing you're going to do is go ahead and add your ranch, bacon bits, and onion mix. This is the ranch. This is the onion. You could probably put one large like yellow onion in this, but I'm kind of doing this quick today because I've actually got to go put brakes on my truck. And here goes the bacon bits. This is a uh, three ounce package of bacon bits, by the way. Don't forget to take the uh, little moisture thing out of it. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to give this another stir. Doesn't have to be perfect yet. We still got more to do. And then what you're going to do, you're going to fill the rest of the crock pot up with milk. Adding the milk. Probably going to take about three glasses full. This is the second one. And here's the third one. Next, you're going to turn your slow cooker, put the lid on it, turn the slow cooker on, and uh, let this heat up for overnight, eight hours, four hours. So I usually started out on high heat for like two hours, and then I turn it down. Oh, I forgot. You want to stir this, too. You want to stir this probably every, at least once an hour, especially if you have it on high. And then, if you have it on low, you could pretty much cook it all night or if you got it on warm without stirring it. But initially, if you got it on high like I'm going to do because I want this ready in just a couple hours, I'm going to stir it about every hour. I'll bring you back at the next step because we are still not done. All right, folks, we are down to the last two steps. This is pretty easy to do. Put you some potato soup in a bowl. 
I'm getting quite a bit because I'm pretty hungry. I haven't ate all day and it's probably about 6 p.m. Potato soup goes in. The final two steps is want to add some sour cream. Some cheese of your choice. Give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. I want to add this because it happens um, every time that I talk about using cream of whatever kind of soup to make other soups. A lot of people don't like to use that because of the salt content. And I get that. I used to actually make this. I have a longer version of this recipe where I use fresh mushrooms and I use fresh celery and I use, um, you know, chicken broth. You can do it that way. Um, the problem becomes that it just takes so much longer. The long recipe used to literally take probably about an hour to an hour and a half just to get it assembled into the um, slow cooker where now you know for probably the last 15 years so maybe the first five years that I made this I made it using the long recipe and then I kind of shortened it down and started using the condensed soups uh, or the cream of cream of soups for the last 15 years and there's not much difference in the taste to be honest with you because what I found out was when I was doing the long recipe, I was using a lot more salt in that recipe than what I was, you know, I only use, uh, well, actually, I don't use any salt in this. Now, I just use whatever salt come in the, uh, the ranch and the onion soup mix and the cream of, cream of soups. So, I don't use any salt in it anymore, where before I used to use quite a bit of salt, um, even though I would tell, you know, to season it the way you like it. Potato soup tastes really good with a little heavy on the salt. So, you know, if you use the cream of soups and the ranch seasoning and the onion seasoning mix, you don't have to use any additional salt. So there's my reasoning. And not only that, it saves a whole lot of time because I threw this together. It took uh, probably 10 minutes to cook the potatoes. It took two or three minutes to dump everything in the slow cooker and off I went to do something else. And that's kind of the way my homestead life is. I just don't have time to sit and cook meals that take forever. Um, so anyways, hope you found this informative. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. All right, folks. In the long version of this recipe, what I did was you're going to make your cream of soups from scratch and you're going to use fresh celery you're going to use fresh mushrooms and you're going to use chicken broth i'm going to give you this cream of celery recipe that i've used for years it was actually the base for the long recipe and then i just substituted equal amounts of mushrooms and chicken broth for the celery um, so the original recipe also has salt in this and when you make these cream of soups the amount that it makes is about one quart which is equivalent to three ten and a half ounce cans of soup but if you are on a no salt or reduced salt diet you can make this cream of soups and then uh, you can omit the salt that's in it so basically what you need it takes about five minutes to prepare this um, and with the cook time of 15 minutes the total time is about 20 minutes so you need four tablespoons of butter four tablespoons of cornstarch two cups of celery or two cups of sliced mushrooms or two cups of chicken broth depending on which one you're making you need four cups of milk a half teaspoon of salt or you can leave that out you can use between a quarter and a half teaspoon of ground black pepper now the way that you make this is you melt the butter in a large frying pan or a stock pot over medium to high heat while the butter's melting you go ahead and prepare your celery your mushrooms or your chicken broth 
Add the celery, mushrooms, or chicken broth, the salt, and the pepper, and cook until soft, which takes about five to seven minutes for the mushrooms and the celery. The chicken broth is no time, really. I just let it heat up. So when your celery or mushrooms is soft, you want to whisk in the cornstarch. Then you want to add one cup of milk at a time, whisking constantly until it's thick. So once that's done, once it's thick, you have now just made homemade condensed soup, cream of soup. So the problem is, is my recipe requires two cans of each, but this makes three cans of each. So you can freeze this, the excess. You can make it ahead of time and freeze it. Um, you can store it in Ziploc bags in single serving sizes and freeze it. You can keep it in the refrigerator for up to three days. And that's basically how I used to make it. I would generally make the cream up soups a day before if I didn't have some in the freezer. Then I'd make the soup the next day. So that's kind of why I've shortened it down and started just using the cans of condensed cream of mushroom soup. So the long way and the short way, they both taste the same, believe it or not. One is just way quicker. And the other way, you can control the amount of salt better. So it's up to you which method you use. Try the recipe. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.